today I'd like to show you The Adventures of Billy Baha and Her Superhero Friends by Jessica Jordan Hogan. It's a really nice little book with lots of different kinds of deaf children. And of course, first we meet Billy. And we find out that she needs to put on her Baha hearing aid before she can hear her mum calling her to get ready for her day at, um, at school. Billy explains that she uses a Baha hearing aid because she has microtia, meaning small ears. And we see her get ready and head off to school. We learn that Billy goes to a school with a special class for deaf children like her and she introduces us to her friends. We meet Elise who uses Bahas like her. Elise is also a wheelchair user and her superpower is her super speed dashing around in her wheelchair. Next we meet Zaina who um, uses a cochlear implant and a hearing aid. She's Muslim and wears a hijab and her superpower is a camouflage. She can hide anywhere. Next we meet Mario who uses cochlear implants. He's bilingual and speaks in Spanish and his superpower is his super strength. Next we meet Malcolm who has single-sided deafness and he, his superpower is that he is super smart. He's a real clever cookie. Ali, who uses hearing aids and has a visual impairment, it, um, is some really nice deaf-blind representation. Her superpower is echolocation. Billy tells us that she has to listen extra hard and really concentrate because um, of her visual impairment. And Billy whose superpower is her kindness. The whole book is written in Billy's voice and she introduces each of the children and their differences. We see the different hearing technologies, the Baha, the cochlear implant, hearing aids and a child who does not use any technology. But that's not all. The children represent different um, ethnic backgrounds and life experiences. And at the end of the day, they are each individual and themselves. They have different abilities and disabilities. And more than anything, they are individuals. They are Mario, Malcolm, Elise, Ali, Zaina and Billy. They really do show the diversity amongst deaf children. And it's really nice to see. You see, um, part of the routine that makes their day slightly different from a typical child, doing listening checks and using the FM system. Amongst all this diversity, I was a little disappointed not to see a child that used any um, visual communication or sign language. We're not told how old the children are, but looking at the way the class is set up, it appears to be um, aimed as quite an early years classroom but it is so nice to see the um, class for deaf children being represented. I'm not sure that all the children that are in this class would be typically in a special class for um, or a resource provision in Britain. Perhaps that re represents something different within the American system. This is clearly an American book. I like the way that this book is actually written for deaf children and the, um, the notes on how to use the book include um, guidelines for using it with a deaf child. It's a lovely bright book with so much in the pictures that you can talk about and look at. There's just so much detail within each picture. Um, and it's so nice to see that um, different kind of of deaf children not just the a, a profoundly deaf child or a, a moderately deaf child and it's really nice bright and friendly illustrations I mean I really like this book and I think it really does show that there's so many ways to be a deaf child I love the intersectionality of this that it is not just 
different kinds of deafness, but different types of life experience as well. I think this book has so much diversity. I think that's why it um, feels like there's a gap where the um, signing um, deaf child um, fits in. But overall, it's just such a nice book. So what do you think? Please put comments down below and we can have a real conversation about this book. And I'd love to hear if there's books you'd like me to review. And don't forget to um, click the subscribe button so you'll see next time I upload a video. I really look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for listening. Bye.